Hey there everyone, Jens Davidson here once again. So here is the update on my cabinet. It is looking absolutely beautiful. So, made a ton of progress yesterday in getting these doors all put together, mounted up perfectly, and then installing the frame or the uh, drawer faces here. And then I also took everything off once it was all in place and I sanded the face frame smooth so everything is all sanded up. I used super coarse sandpaper because frankly I like how it feels. Um, I don't think you need wood to always feel like glass, right? So I'm going to finish this when it's all said and done with uh, boiled linseed oil, a couple coats of that, and then cover the whole thing with uh, paste wax. But everything works really well. Super happy with how it turned out. It almost looks like I know what I'm doing. Um, so the only remaining piece of this cabinet is the top. So this is my cabinet top. This will be the front where my toe is. And I made this yesterday real quick. I, uh, I started by drawing everything out because I make way fewer mistakes when I draw things out. Let's zoom in on that. If we can focus here. So yeah, I drew everything out to scale using a few very simple tools. Calculator, pencil, straight edge, and the dial caliper. So I started by just figuring out what my scale was going to be. So my longest dimension of the of the countertop is 37 inches and it's 32 wide. And so I figured how long do I want my longest dimension to be? I figured six inches was good because my caliper only goes up to six inches. So I basically set the scale such that six inches on paper equals 37 inches in real life and then calculated that ratio and I did everything based off of that. I took the um, my 37 inches divided it by 4 that's 9 and a quarter and then I took that 9 and a quarter and divided it into thirds so this is one third this uh, C labeled piece is two thirds and so you get this very nice repeating pattern. I really, I'm really really happy with how it turned out so that gave me a cut list, 30 pieces of 9 and a quarter inches and 6 at 3 and 3 30 seconds and 6 at 6 and 5 30 seconds, 3 30 seconds plus 5 30 seconds equals a quarter inch, that's 8 30 seconds and so 6 and 3 is 9 so you get 9 and a quarter so it came out perfectly fine because that's math. Now, the challenge is getting all of this to come together into a solid flat piece. And how I plan on doing that is by using wooden dowels. These little guys. I'm going to divide the boards up into thirds. Well, full length pieces into thirds and I will drill one hole here one here one here so that's three on each full length board two holes so this is a two-thirds board here one here one here and I'm gonna have I calculated it out and it's going to be 129 pegs that I need to use and uh, yeah that's going to be a lot of drilling um, so we're going to have some fun but I should say it's going to be more than that so it's going to be 129 going in the horizontal orientation 
in order to keep these in the same plane I'm going to do a single peg this way and so that's going to add up so that yeah so the horizontal pieces are going to be there's 96 and then the vertical ones going into the end grain that calculates out to 33 so that's 129 total pegs so you double that and that's how many holes I need to drill which is about 258 so I got some work to do but in theory this should get me a pretty flat and solid countertop you know obviously there's going to be all the joints will be glued so I think we'll be good to go so stay tuned for that that's going to be a long one but I got all day to do it thanks for watching Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.